Hello, welcome back to Max Class. Uh, we are uh, seeing a uh, Grade Two Mathematics CBSE syllabus. Hope you all understand what we have uh, so on. We have uh, seen about it. Okay, so today's class is going to be a uh, uh, knowing about a time. Okay, children. So we have already know about what is the value of the time, isn't it? So in my last classes, we have seen about how the time moves, how the days and how the months, how the years was passing, and we have seen about some. reasoning questions related to uh, days months and years okay so today class is going to be about to learn about the time so we all know the time so time means what is a time so time means so 24 hours a so one day is equal to how many hours a so one day is equal to 24 hours a so 20 Four hours. Okay, once the twenty-four hours was finished, next new day will be occur, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, so there is a twenty-four hours. But here, how many numbers are there? Only a twelve numbers are there. So the the line the. the Uh, the needle will cross at twelve for a twice for a twice for a per day the needle will cross it for a twice a day twice a day it will cross the the needle will cross at twelve okay children okay so next so there is a some uh, mathematical calculation to study about a time. So you, if I told you that a mathematical calculation means you, can, you, you would just not imagine that is going to be a very huge or very tough. It's a very, very easy thing. We all know how to make a skip counting method, isn't it? We all know how to perform a skip counting method. So what is a skip counting by uh, two? Skip counting by two. So how we are going to make a skip by skip by two two? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. Isn't it? So, what does it mean by next? Uh, skip counting by three means what? Three, six, nine, twelve, sixteen, and so on. This is what we're going to be. So, time is also going to follow the skip counting method, but not two and three. The time follows the the time follows the skip counting method. Five skip counting by five. So we are going to follow the skip counting by five. So five means it is very very easy. So five means very very easy. Not just like a two or three and four. The five will be very very easy. So don't worry about it. Very easy. Okay. So shall we uh, do or how the uh, the five is going to be skip? Okay, the one for a one. I'm just starting with the number five. Okay, for a one, I'm just starting with the number five. Okay, you have a one questions, so you can tell me. So skip counting five. You are assigning one as a five means, but in a wall clock or a watch or a wrist watch, that anything that we have seen only the one to twelve. So how can you means you have to be get remember. You have to be get memory about each and value each value of a each number. Okay, so one means five, two means ten. Next three means fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. So this is what the skip counting by using the skip counting by five. I have a, um, uh, skipped the number five. Number five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and a sixty. So this is what it. Okay, okay. So you can tell me the small needles. There are two type of uh, two needles, isn't it? You can able to see the two needles is there. Yes, there are two needles in a clock. So one is a smaller and another one is a longer, isn't it? One is smaller needle and another one is a longer needle. Okay, the smaller needle will represent the It's a exact number in the wall clock, in a clock, in a clock. The small needle will represent the exact number. For example, if the needle shows a three, you can say it's a three. If the needle shows uh, uh, that is small needles, okay. If a small needle shows four, it's a four. If if a small needle at a five, we can say it's a five. But either, but in in case of a longer needle, in a bigger needle. If it be a, like in a one means you have to say five. 
if well if a bigger needle it in a 2 means you can tell a 10 3 means 15 4 means 20 5 means 25 6 means 30 7 means 35 8 means 40 9 45 10 means 50 11 means 55 and 12 means the 60 okay so how to now tell about it time then what's the time how the needle shows the small needles at the three the point of three the small needle shows the arrow on a three and a big needle shows at a 12 so now what is the time the small needle means you have to tell that this number three now what is the big number big needle 12 12 means what big needle you should not tell the 12 in case of 12 you have to tell the skip counting 5 isn't it so 360 okay so in in the in this clock method if the needle in a 12th position means you don't need to mention the 60 if it is in a 12 it means you just simply say it's a 3 o'clock it's a 3 o clock you can represent the number on this way you cannot you should not i'm um, not tell like that but this is not a right uh, way to tell it's a 360 or a 260 or a 560 you cannot tell if it, uh, if the big needle is in a 12th position you simply say it's a 3 o'clock or it's a 4 o'clock it's a 5 o'clock okay you can simply say you cannot uh, tell 60 and all okay so in case of 55 means up to 55 you can tell 355 um 455 you up to 55 you cannot tell you can tell once a needle cross 11 and it touched at 12 you just simply say so how what's a small needle shows three means three o'clock four means four o'clock okay so somebody will, will not understand what i said do no, no problem i will one more time i will change the time and i will tell you so now the small needle uh, will be at the six okay now what's the time it's a 660 so you should not say 660 660 is not a right way to tell isn't it so what is the time now it's a six o'clock you can represent a six o'clock like this or you can say it's a six o'clock six o clock it's a you can represent on this way when the now the time is like an eight means when the time is eight means you can just simply say because the big needle on a 12th position is it so you can say it's a eight o'clock or eight or time is eight or time is eight you don't need to tell it's just eight sixty okay okay so now i'm just moving the needle on a different position see here now i'm, I'm just changing the big needle towards 1 and I am changing the small needles towards 2 ok now tell me the time what's the time now now the small needle is in a 2 second ok so 2 now tell me the what is the big needle in a 1 you should not say 1 instead of the 1 what do you have to say the number 5 it's a 5 isn't it it's a 5 or 2 5 so 2 5 is the correct time 2 5 is the correct time okay now i'm again changing the time now i'm just changing the big needle alone the small needle will be there now the small needle is in a second number two and a big number also lies on same two now what is the time 2 10 now the time is 2 10 2 2 o'clock with the 10 minutes 2 10 is the correct time okay so now i'm moving the needle i'm just keeping the small needle to 6 and a big needle to the 9 okay so in, a, in case of this what how you tell the time now what's the time now the small um, needle in the sixth position isn't it so six o'clock six six and the big needle how the big needle big needle lies on the nine nine means 45 so now time is 645 645 okay so next next time moving to the next one i'm just moving the big needle to the three okay now what's the time 6 15 6 15 okay so children always remember the small needle will show us the exact number where the arrow pointing out whereas the big needle shows if the big needle represent the 
skip counting by 5 what that answer okay so it shows the uh, skipping by 5 okay so don't get confused small means it tell the exact number where the small arrow shows big means it tell the skip by 5 okay okay next i'm telling the another positioning i'm just keeping on another position now small needle in a six and the big needle also six what's the time now 6 30 it's a timer 6 30 you can everybody can see the both needle on a same position you can see it okay in case if the both needles are lies on a 12 the both needles lies on a 12 then what is the time Simply you can say it's a 12 o'clock. It's a 12 o'clock because 12 means 1260. You cannot say it, isn't it? So you can say it's a 12 o'clock. Okay, children. Okay. So we have seen only this keep counting by 5 with the each and every number. 1 means 5, 2 means 10, 3 means 15, 4, 20, 525, 630, 735, 840, 945, 1050, 1155 and 12. 60 okay so in between you have you are just skipping the five count isn't it in between you are skipping a five five count six seven eight nine isn't it so ten you are just at the point of five you just writing ten six seven eight nine next eleven twelve thirteen fourteen next here sixteen seventeen 18, 19, next, 21, 22, 23, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44. Next, 46, 47, 48, 49. Next, 51, 52, 53 and 54. 56, 57, 58, 59 and a 60 okay so see here the number this is the major number isn't it this is a major number the small needle will represent the exact number isn't it okay so big needle will say this keep counting by five numbers isn't it so in between you are just leaving the four number in between that in between five and ten there will be a four number isn't it of course there will be a four number when now the needles and now the needles are in the position three small needle and a big needle now what is the time so if i have not written the number 21 to 24 you will just simply confuse is the needle is lies between four and five okay so this is what we have to tell. So now time is 3.23. So exactly you want to know means you can have a small needles in your clock. If you check your clock, there will be a small dot or small needle in every clock you have it. You can assume it after 20, 21, 22 and 23. If it in the third needle, you can count it. 21, 22 and 23. Okay. So, if in case of the you want, you want to know about the exact time, you can just know. Or you ask anybody is simply asking what's the time means. You cannot even tell the exact time means. Just simply say it's going to be a 325. Yeah, no, the time is going to be 3.25. But what is meaning that the time is going to be 3.25. Not at present the time is not at 3.25. The time is going to be a 3.25. You can simply say. So whenever the, you are asking about the exact time. You just calculate the remaining numbers and the needles. And you can tell about that time. Okay. Pebbles CBSC Board Syllabus